Uh, an open Supreme Court seat now sparking a guessing game all across Washington really has got to be the buzz of barbecues around the country, too. And we could find out as early as tomorrow who President Obama selects to replace retiring Justice David Souter on the bench. And some of the people said to be on his short list, not exactly GOP favorites. Republican Senator John Kyle on Fox News Sunday not ruling out a filibuster. Listen. Well, let me just just ask you, and I, I do take all of your caveats here, uh, Senator Kyle. Back in 2005, when Democrats were, <clears throat> excuse me, filibustering some Bush nominees, and you were considering the nuclear option to, to stop that, here's what you said. It's never been the case until the last two years that a minority could dictate to a majority what they could do. So, so are you backtracking on that? What I'm saying, Chris, is that in extraordinary circumstances, which is essentially the way that the Senate resolved that dispute about the nuclear option, as you say, I think both Democrats and Republicans reserve the right to uh, not only oppose a nomination, but also uh, prevent the vote on the nomination. That should be a rare case, and I would hope that the president's nominee would not fall into that category. But I think you never say never here, and given the fact that the president has already signal that he wants to appoint someone who has empathy and will decide cases based on that, I think you have to reserve it. Roll, please. Let's bring in the panel. Uh, Jonathan Allen is a reporter at CQPolitics.com. Matt Lewis is a conservative blogger on AOL's Political Machine blog and on Townhall.com. And Mo Alethe is a former Clinton campaign spokesman. And Jonathan Allen, I'm reading this political piece this morning that says conservative activists have a message for Senate Republicans. And the message is lock and load. And I guess the mantra would be, look, you can't beat them, but you certainly can't join them. Well, I think that right now conservatives and Republicans uh, who are even outside that conservative tent look at this as a real good opportunity for rallying the Republican Party, particularly social conservatives, particularly to raise money. This is an issue that tends to generate money uh, for the party committees and for individual candidates. So they're hoping to do that. But unless uh, President Obama goes beyond left field, out to the parking lot beyond left field, uh, to pick a nominee here, I, I don't think there's a whole lot Republicans can do other than dramatize this and maybe delay it a little bit. I, I know Mo Alethe is chomping at the bit there, but I want to get to Matt Lewis if I can. You know, Matt, I want to bring up this Gary Bauer bite. And Gary Bauer, of course, is the president for the anti-gay marriage and anti-abortion group American Values. He says, why are conservatives agonizing about this? He, he put this up on the screen. He says, you know, the other side doesn't agonize about whether they're going to give a Republican Supreme Court nominee a difficult time. They just do it. And then he goes on. Matt, to point to Ted Kennedy's attack on Robert Bork and Sam Alito's wife crying uh, when, when during his confirmation process and Clarence Thomas, the whole mess. I mean, your thoughts on what Gary Bauer said? Well, I think he's absolutely right. You know, conservatives are nice people. Uh, we, we don't get good press on that. People don't know. Um, the stereotype is that we're mean, but actually, uh, if you look at it, conservatives have generally thought that the president within reason has, has the right to pick his nominee. It's been Democrats who actually, with Robert Bork, and invented the word Borking, where they decided to go after somebody. And that set this whole thing in motion. And that's where we sort of got this partisanship in, in terms of, of selecting judges. But I will say, I think there's a very important reason to be concerned about activist judges. Yeah. And it goes to the fact that we elect members of Congress to pass laws. And right. if they pass a law that we don't like, we can unelect them. And, and I want to judges. Get Go judges, ahead, Matt. I want to no get to that to in a minute, but I want to bring in Mo Alethe on the point that you just made, because it, it, is, it is a fair point, Mo. I mean, I read your talking points that you sent out to us, and your, your, your main concern is, look, the American public doesn't want this bipartisan bickering when it comes to the Supreme Court. They just want a nominee who's credible and reliable and, and follows the law. But, but he brings up a good point. The Democrats have pilloried Republican nominees in the past. Well, look, I think uh, the American people definitely want, uh, I think it's legitimate to have a debate over who the nominee is. My point is, let's wait and see who the nominee is before we start gearing up for a fight. I, I think there are, there are elements uh, of the Republican Party that are just more interested in, as Jonathan said, speaking to the base than they are mm -hmm. in necessarily uh, reaching out to all Americans. And, and I think that's been one of the bigger problems with the Republican Party today, is it is only speaking to its base. Uh, you know, let's find out who the nominee is before we decide to go to war. Has it gone, Jonathan Allen? I just want to give you all a chance to respond to this because they're giving me the rap sign. But Jonathan Allen, has it gone to the, to, too far in politics? I mean, have we got, forgotten that this is about uh, upholding the rule of law? 
Well, I think uh, the line was erased a long time ago in terms of the level of political rhetoric. But uh, as Mo says, a debate is reasonable. We'll see who the nominee is, and we'll see what the level of debate is. My guess is President Obama, at the end of the day, will end up with his nominee. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, you know, we got about 10 seconds, Matt Lewis. Make your point, if you can, quickly on on the political versus legal aspects. Absolutely. If if a if a member of Congress passes a law or votes for a bill that we don't like, we can vote them out of office. But if a judge does something that we don't like, they're in there forever. So their their goal should be to interpret the law, not to pass legislation, not to write the law. Because gotta, once they're in there, we can't. Got to give Mo 10 seconds. Mo Lethe, 10 seconds hard. Well, again, let's. Uh, yeah, the Republicans uh, attacked the Democrats uh, several years ago, saying that we shouldn't uh, stonewall this process. We need to move quickly. Okay. They are now the ones that are trying to stonewall this process and gearing up Got for it. a battle. Jonathan People Allen, are tired Matt of the Lewis, ideological battles. Mo Leafy, gentlemen, thank you all. All right, I like your time cues, by Thanks. the way, Trace. Yeah, they're giving me like <laughs> you're learning from the fourth <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. We're